everyone, it's Blakeboy AT, and I'm finally back to YouTube as of 2022. I know I did not make a whole bunch of videos as of the start of my channel last year, but I will do my best to improve that. Of course, don't be too attached to me, don't expect for me to have in a consistent schedule, unless that was that were to change within any um, time frame, but otherwise I will just upload as I can whenever I'd like, as to keep the content of just mainly fun doll videos I make here and there just authentic and not like, you know, under pressure, force, anything like that. So let's start with the review. I've already opened this sweet girl, so I can't exactly say this is an unboxing. This is how she arrives. Just beautiful in her box. I had not ordered or gotten any doll, like girl of the year, from right from the American Girl store ever since my mom got me McKenna all the way back in 2012. So I can see the differences now. They have their own style going on. Sweet name, everything. I love it. As you can see here, it says part of the Girl of the Year 2022 collection as Gwen Tan is not the Girl of the Year. She's the sister of the Girl of the Year. Therefore, part of it. But, you know. Each their own. I definitely love her. I'm so glad she made it here. And so we will begin moxing. Or, well, like taking her out the box so I can have a better look at her. Here she is. She comes with her pretty brown eyes, her painted eyelashes, as any of the Bully Wisher sized dolls, because there's a debate between whether she is or isn't technically a Welly Wisher, which for me, I'd say she's like a Welly Wisher, but more special. I don't know, it's hard to describe, but you know love her so much her hair is like a dark brown you can't really see it with the lighting and like in some pictures i've seen from both the official american girl and on instagram or just overall anywhere like you can see a black or also like a dark brown now her sweater is very soft and isn't see-through like her sister corinne's white sweatshirt or sweater which it does not look see-through from, like, pictures or first glance, but when you see some videos, like, I saw one on AGIG a couple days ago, like, someone stuck their hand or their finger inside the, well, inside the white sweater, and it is, in fact, see-through. This skirt is very soft and beautiful, but it is delicate, I imagine, so you would have to be careful with how you treat it and wash it. I think it would definitely be recommended you wash this hand wash and avoid using the washing machine as much as you can. Or possibly use the delicate um, delicate mode or something on it, but I think it's just best you hand wash it. These leggings are very soft and perfectly go with any future outfits you could use for both um, Gwen or any other of your Welly Wisher or 14.5 inch dolls. These boots are very soft, but definitely have to be careful as I'm sure they're delicate too. And if you like scratch at them or let your pets near them, they could get ruined. So do keep an eye on these and your pesky little friends. Like pets, I, I love my cats, but you know, pets can be crazy sometimes. The fluff here, very, very soft and beautiful. Now we turn around and see her braids she arrives in. They're beautiful. I will have to take these out soon. Not sure when, but for now I'll keep them. All in all, as she arrives, I would say I give her a 10 out of 10 for just being perfect. Having everything as should be. If I could, I would have gotten her accessories, but it would have been a lot more. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and... Y'all take care. Bye.